Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Okay, so we've been here uh, almost one hour now and um, the situation is still same the situation is still tense um, as police officers are still guarding the premises of um, the former Papkan president dr edgar chagwalungu here in ibex uh, lusaka so we as the media have been warned not to film or uh, take footage of um, the happenings as to what they term as an ongoing investigation. As you can see the background, that's the arrival of um, Mr. Stephen Kampiongo there. And also we've seen uh, quite notable uh, PF officials arriving. That being said, uh, Chief Vitali also just arrived a few minutes ago. And um, Kaiser Zulu is here. Mr. Makebizu also the lawyer is here. So you are getting some of the stolen shots from um, uh, Edgar Lungu's residence here in Ibex. And uh, we are here to get more information regarding what's really uh, happening uh, or why his uh, premises or his house is under police guard this morning. So we are hoping that uh, as the day unfolds, we'll be able to get to give you more parity uh, regarding what is happening here in uh, Ibex at uh, ECL's residence. We do have quite a number of uh, uh, peer youths also that are uh, turning up, or that are turning up at the moment. And uh, on the other side, there's uh, Mr. Brian Mwamba. Uh, he's already here. And on the other side, those are some of the media, uh, rather journalists, that have been warned not to take any footage. And these are some of the live uh, pictures that you're getting, stolen uh, shots, rather, uh, of what's, what is transpiring here. Remember, it is World uh, Press Freedom Day today. And uh, suddenly, um, this is what we're... Um, the too. You know, when you form government, so these are some of the pictures that you're getting this morning in, uh, in Ibex. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll be able to give you more uh, details as the day unfolds regarding what is happening uh, here in Ibex or maybe the reason behind uh, the happenings of today where we only briefed that uh, police officers have surrounded the residence of uh, in Ivex. So we were only told by one of uh, the top boss uh, uh, police officers here uh, to, to, to say we're not supposed to film as media. And we've been here, I think, uh, almost an hour or so, waiting and uh, hoping that we'll be briefed regarding what is transpiring here. So we are still here. And that's uh, Mr. Kaiser's probably driving off. He's been here waiting for some time. And later on, I saw Jazila Lung, the daughter of. Uh, Dr. Edgar Chagwalu uh, was also here making a few phone calls uh, to what I perceived but she was in a panic mode 
Hello? We're not really uh, certain actually, as to what is transpiring as regard to the cause of uh, this this operation, this morning operation. And on the other side, these are some of the, uh, the journalists that have been told not to take any footage of the happenings here. So we're still here. And, uh, we have Mr. Ibrahim Mamba here. Mr. Ibrahim, you're live. Yeah, um, we're here at the uh, residence of the uh, former Republican president. Yeah. And uh, we can confirm that uh, we have... Uh, doing their job I think and the police I think they are doing their job they are, there's no harassment there's nothing like that we just want to see the result that has made them to come and uh, search on the, the, the former Republican president but we are we are shocked some of us that uh, we've read books and know how the immunity of the former Republican president because it's happening in the, in the, in the history of Zambia where a former Republican president lost power 12 months ago, 17 months ago. It's been, uh, you know, it's been calibrated in this manner. And uh, we are reliably informed by the daughter. Like, they, they are looking for her annex. So, for her annex, for her annex, two hours. It's worrying. Yeah. Right, thank you. So we're not hoping that uh, we'll be able to give you more details regarding this operation this morning. And uh, in case you're just joining us, we are still uh, streaming live from uh, Edgar Chagwalungu's residence here in uh, Ibex, Lusaka. And remember, today is World uh, Press Freedom Day. And unfortunately, uh, we as a media have been subjected to not to um, freely express ourselves here, uh, not until what they term as uh, an investigation is concluded. So we're still hoping to uh, get more information regarding people that have walked in uh, Mr. Makebi Zulu has also entered the premises, as well as uh, many other PFR uh, notable officials, uh, not forgetting that uh, the former uh, PFSG, Davis Muela, also uh, has uh, walked in uh, the premises. And according to the top cop who is here, uh, he came to us, the, we, the media, and he told us that they were not supposed to film, rather take any footage. And according to him, he says, um, uh, they are carrying an, uh, an investigation, but we are not certain uh, what investigation is all about or maybe uh, what they are looking for. So we are hoping that as the day unfolds, we'll be able to give you those details live here on Facebook as well as in our Grand News at 1930 on Crown TV. <laughs> <laughs> we do have on the other side we do have uh, a few uh, notable PF youths that have come also just to show solidarity and uh, that being said Chidu Fetali also just stepped in a few minutes ago uh, Chidu Fetali just stepped in a few minutes ago but she um, here is also here and, uh, in a hyper mood and they're ready to <laughs> maybe give us a statement or something regarding what is happening here. So we are also uh, waiting uh, to get more information regarding this. In case you're just joining us, these are live pictures coming from uh, ECL's residence here in Lusaka, Ibex, where his house has been surrounded by police officers. And up to now, we're not yet told why, uh, maybe the reason behind this operation this morning. So we, we still remain hopeful that we'll be able to get the live uh, information or maybe uh, the clear data regarding the same. But we as a media have been told not to um, take any footage. So these are some of the stolen shots that you're getting this morning. And um, on the far end, I believe that must be 
uh, Mr. Emmanuel Mwamba coming, Ambassador Emmanuel Mwamba coming. Uh, I believe that's his vehicle this morning. Yeah, probably it's him. Yeah. And on the other side, there's uh, Mr. Brian going to be there. Uh, Zulu. And uh, quite a number of uh, PF uh, notables. Uh, we have uh, Sir Stephen Campiongo also. And the husband to uh, Madam Tassila Lungu. Mr. Monster there. And uh, there he goes, um, uh, the ambassador Mwamba. Yeah. So let's 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 have a let's have a few chat a, a closer shot. Yeah. Okay. Emmanuel Mwamba. So sir, you So what is happening here is total order. The former president has constitutional immunity. Prosecution starts from investigations. You cannot search the, the premises of the former president. He enjoys constitutional immunity. What is happening here is total lawlessness and should not be allowed. Many Zambians remember that I worked for the former president, Dr. Frederick Chiruwa, for 10 years. We had similar situations where the task force on corruption wanted to search the former president before his immunity was lifted. It was not possible. And you will remember that the day that uh, Dr. Chiruwa's immunity was lifted, a horde of police like this stormed his residence trying a court order to stay Parliament's decision to lift his immunity and that process went for two years and the task force on corruption and the police stayed away they couldn't search him until the, the Supreme Court at the time confirmed that it's coming from President Haka Inde Ichilema at every turn he's accusing his former president that and he will not allow that to happen so when the uh, president sitting president says i will not allow this to happen what does that mean this is what it means law enforcement agencies will be lawless to people like president Lungu because he's at the mouth of the current president he has so far spoken three times disparaging his former president and saying he will not allow the former president as if president Akainde Ichilema is a constitution President Lungu is eligible to stand if he wants, but he has said he's in retirement, and you need to respect that. So I just wanted to emphasize that what you are seeing here is total lawlessness, abuse of the Constitution, abrogation of the Constitution, and these police officers must leave. Whoever is directing them, they must leave because they are here illegally. If they want, let them lift his immunity, then they can come and investigate and search him. Okay, so, uh, that was our uh, statement coming from uh, Ambassador Emmanuel Mwamba, also the PF hopeful. But as per usual, we as media get a bit bad from uh, moving closer. I'm going to be getting a statement from one or two officials, or PF officials that are here at. Um, ECL's residence in Ibex, Lusaka. I still remain hopeful that uh, as the day unfolds, we'll be able to give you um, more updates regarding what is transpiring here. And uh, as Elia mentioned, we have seen a few PF officials arriving and of course the just issue of solidarity or maybe just want to find out why former Prime President Dr. Edgar Chagulungu is under police guard this uh, morning. So this is why we're still here and we'll be keeping you updated regarding what is happening. Yeah.
about what we had to find out what the investigation is all about. So the top cop, one of the top cops here just came and uh, told us that we're not supposed to fume uh, as to what the team has any ongoing investigation. We're not yet, we're not yet uh, briefed uh, as to what the investigation is all about. So as it unfolds, probably we'll give you more updates as well as tell you or get to inform you what is uh, transpiring here or maybe why this operation has taken place this morning. So for now, we'll keep you updated from me, Alfred Chimba. Good morning. When you are investigating the president and his spouse, the president has immunity. So you can speak to the president. What happened? What happened? What happened? Thank you. Well, the police are here. In order to circumvent or at least try to circumvent the immunity that the former president enjoys, they purported to issue the same in the name of the first lady. The owner of the responsibilities is the former president who enjoys certain privileges and, uh, and uh, he has made it abundantly clear that if it's him they want, they should be able to see He will make himself a a sing stand, a sing stand of uh, any breach into his premises compromises his immunity because they will purport to be such in the name of the access to his property. So in this particular case, whatever the issue of the session is, they can simply say so and that we will uh, make, make, make the same available to them if at all it is on the premises. But as things stand, uh, it is abundantly clear that there is an attempt to circumvent his privileges as former president. Prior to this, the certain information that has been reached them, to the extent that there is an intention to cover Perhaps the, the police thought it would be ingenious of them to come to this place. We were talking to the officers that they even had the class to say, as a matter of fact, the police did not have his name. So in that particular case, why don't they issue the search warrant in the name of the owner of the property? Why have they issued it in the name of the person? It's not of the, uh, the owner of the property. So we, we have engaged them and told them if at all they wanted the first aid, whatever the issue of the investigation is, she has never refused to appear before any investigator and will make her available because they can't come to a conclusion before they hear a side of the story, whatever issue of the investigation. That's what they say they are looking for, uh, an IX, which I'm sure I know they have, and uh, to suggest that the uh, first lady could have stolen an uh, IX or any, any vehicle that is that small. It's, it's, it's very exciting. But in any event, we are of the view that this is now intended to embarrass the former first family, and uh, it should not be so. It should not be so. Let's follow the law, let's do what we want to do, and ensure that procedures and processes are followed instead of embarrassing both the state and the former first family. Well, but prior to this stage, was there any sound or the first family no, just to respond to the same thing? No, there was no. There was no someone whatsoever. They're yet to tell us who the complainant is uh, in relation to whatever matter they come for. And it is what we're telling them to say you have jumped the gun. Whatever uh, issue that you're investigating, you've heard the other side. Before her, get up to her side, then make up your mind thereafter as to whatever you investigate. And if I told you anything, which may be my possession, she will be able to make it available to you. Well, the property belongs to the former president, who has a wife. So for purposes of securing his immunity, they cannot issue one in that regard. In the same way that they can't have to speak against him. So the immunity that he does, his place of approval, is considered to be, uh, to be his and to be his. It's obviously new. 
Otherwise, anyone can come and say, okay, we've come to search, and the search warrant is in the name of the garden boy, and we have access to the computer. We will not do that, and that was not the intention of the law. The intention of the law was to secure a form of prosecution, from prosecution, which starts from investigations. And if this constitutes part of the investigations, then the immunity obviously prevails. And if it's, since it's not even directed at him, not that if it was directed at him, it would be successful. He has the right to say that. So he has created his immunity over this police and they will not have access to it. No, it's for them to take it to take action. He has accepted his privilege. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.